files of the internet. My name's Adriana and today I actually have a book haul to show you guys. I have six books that I'm going to share with you guys and I am super super excited. Understatement of the year. Without further ado, let's start talking about these new beautiful books that I have. The first book that I got is White Cat by Holly Black. I read my first Holly Black book last month and that was The Coldest Girl in Cold Town and I absolutely loved it. There is a spoiler free review discussion that I did about that and that will be linked in the description in case you want to watch it. I have finally used my one free audible credit to get an audiobook and that was White Cat by Holly Black and I got that for one reason and one reason only and that is because it is narrated by Jesse Eisenberg who is only one of my favorite actors ever and who stars in one of my favorite movies in the entire world a little film called The Social Network and if you haven't watched this like please please get your life in order, please. I'm one of those people who's not really good at listening to audiobooks, so I bought the actual physical copy of this book because first of all, it was cheap on Book Outlet and also because it helps me to read along as he's reading me the story. As for what this story is about, this is the first book in the Curse Workers series. And what Curse Workers are is they are people who have magical abilities to change your luck, to change your emotions, to bend the will of your mind simply by touching you with their hands. But the main character of this story is not a curse worker. He has absolutely no magical abilities, but everybody in his family is a curse worker. But the thing is that curse working is illegal. And so pretty much everybody that he knows are con men. So he has a few issues going on and he's also started sleepwalking and having these dreams about a cat that is trying to relay an important message to him. I'm not very far into this book at all and I don't know when I'm gonna finish it because I'm going very slowly with the audiobook but I really like it so far. I just feel like me and Holly Black are going to have a very good healthy relationship. Yeah. The next book that I have to show you is really special because I didn't buy it for myself, it was sent to me. And before I go into any more detail about that, let me just show you guys. It is Committed by Elizabeth Gilbert. So a fellow booktuber named Shelly, who I think her YouTube username is Collie of the Wobbles, and I know her Twitter handle is Shell C Wobbles. She was doing an unhaul kind of thing and she contacted me on Twitter and said, hey, would you be interested in any of these books that I'm getting rid of? and I saw that she had this one in there and I was definitely interested in it. And that is because I have read Eat, Pray, Love and this is one of my favorite nonfiction books and this is like the, the sequel to it, I guess you could say. She was nice enough to mail this to me, which is kind of crazy because she had to ship it internationally. So like, just, it was so nice. She sent me this and she sent me like this lovely, lovely postcard and it just, it was so, so sweet. Spoiler alert, at the end of Eat, Pray, Love, she falls in love. So Elizabeth and Felipe, who are the couple in this story, which is, it's strange to say that because it's nonfiction. They were both divorcees, so they never wanted to get married again, but they did want to be in a relationship with one another. But then they run into some logistic problems when Felipe tries to return to the United States, but he can't unless he marries Elizabeth. So this causes her to reflect a lot about the institution of marriage, whether she wants to get married again or not, and what it means to be married to somebody. And I really like Elizabeth Gilbert's writing style. I really, really loved Eat, Pray, Love. She is a fantastic writer. And I think this is going to be a very, very interesting book and I can't wait to read it. So thank you again, Shelly, for sending this to me. It means so much to me. I'm super stoked about the next book that I'm going to show you guys. And that is A World Without Princes by Soman Chainani. This is the sequel to The School for Good and Evil, which I read last month and it was absolutely fantastic one of my new favorite middle grade reads ever obviously I'm not going to be giving a synopsis of this book because I don't want to spoil anybody who has not read the first book if you're interested in reading the first book but I will just say that basically this series is about a school called the school for good and evil which takes kids and trains them to either become villains or heroes essentially and when they graduate they will become part of their own fairy tale. And it's also about these two main characters, Sophie and Agatha, who kind of shake up the system. Loving it so far. I really, really, really like the first book and I definitely recommend this series to everyone. And then the next book that I got is Deathless by Catherine M. Valente. I've heard a lot about this book 
from Paige at Enchantology. She talks about it like all the time whenever she does tag videos. And I really trust Paige's opinion. We are like practically soul sisters when it comes to our taste in books. It's actually pretty funny because I've had this book on my TBR for a very, very long time, but I really, really became interested in it after reading The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, which that sounds totally backwards, but it's true because there's a chapter in The Coldest Girl in Cold Town where the characters start talking about the original Russian myth that this story retells. And so basically this book is a mix of historical fiction and mythology and fantasy and I am all for it. I'm probably going to mispronounce a lot of the names in here but this is a retelling of the story Koske, Koske, The Deathless. I'm so sorry. And this is the story of Maria Morevna, who goes from being a normal girl to being the bride of this evil villain, and then to being his undoing. So I am very, very, very excited to get to this one. Words cannot express how ready I am to read the next book that I'm going to show you. And that book is Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. In April, I finally saw the Miyazaki film version of Howl's Moving Castle, which one of my best friends has been berating me to watch for the longest time. And a booktuber who always mentions this book in a lot of his videos is Edward from Turtle Sympathy. I love him, I love his reviews, I hold his opinion in very high esteem. And because of his enthusiasm for the story and my friend's enthusiasm for the story, I'm just really, really excited to read this book. So Howl's Moving Castle is about a girl named Sophie and she's always heard rumors or myths about this mystical wizard named Howl who lives in a moving castle in case you hadn't guessed that already and how he lures beautiful girls into his clutches and then eats their heart or steals their soul or something like that. Because Sophie is so painfully ordinary as she thinks that she is and she thinks she's not destined for any kind of great adventure, she's not really worried about ever meeting Howl but then one day she sort of gets mixed up in his trouble and she's visited by a witch who turns her into an old lady. And of course her only chance to break this curse lies in Howl's moving castle and she has to go to the mystical terrible wizard himself. I don't have words. I really want to read this book and I'm really really excited about it. It is a fantastic, fantastic narrative. So important in so many ways and I can't wait to read this. I'm excited! Yay! Last but by no means least I have Storm Dancer by Jay Kristoff. I'm pretty sure the first time I heard about this book it was on Reagan's channel. I'm just going to repeat what she said when she was describing this book because that's pretty much all you need to know. This book is a Japanese steampunk fantasy novel. Yes! Did you mean that it was written for me? For me? Because this is, this is like everything I've ever wanted ever in a book. And I'm just like, it just... It's, mm-hmm, it was written for me. So this is a story about a girl named Yukiko. I hope I said that right. And she lives in a world that has been overrun by industrialization and has been taken over by this guild who worships machines. And she and her father are sent on a deadly mission to recover a thunder tiger. And so from that point on, it becomes like this super epic fantasy survival kind of story. And hopefully the main character will eventually become like the downfall of the empire and all that kind of stuff. I think I pretty much covered it all when I said this was a Japanese steampunk fantasy novel. Like there are no words to tell you how ready I am. So those are the books that I have been gathering lately and I am very excited about all of them. They all seem like wonderful stories. There are actually a couple of them that I am planning to definitely read this month so maybe you will see some of them again in my wrap up. I just feel really good about this book haul because a lot of the books are in my wheel house. They are fantasy or they have to do with magic and it's just like that's that's my life. That's where I live. I can't wait to read them. Feel free to tell me if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so so much for watching and I will catch you on the flip side of the page. Bye! I keep touching books to my face. Is that weird?